Welcome to the show today. We are in Boston, Massachusetts, home of CrossFit New England. Who's on the show today? Boys? Okay, we got the man, the myth, the legend, Benny Bird. You can't talk. Who else? We got Katrin, the sled dog, David's daughter. Let's roll the board. Finish into the Noah Olson episode. It's just about done. Just exporting it right now. Yeah, is that how you feel? It's two in the morning, man. <laughs> it's 1:53. What are we gonna do? Are we going somewhere else? I don't know. We're figuring out where we're going tomorrow. It's now fr Thursday night, 1:53. Friday morning at 1:53 in the morning. Okay, so we've got a little project we're working on with our friends over at Blenders that we've been wanting to do for a long time. We just got a pitch deck <laughs> about a potential Buttery Bros collaboration with our friends at Blenders. Hi, honey. All right, let's see what they got. Let's see what, what they what show. They oh, ooh. Oh, oh. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Hot like a two minute. Gonna make a Buttery Bros inspired pair of shades. <laughs> All right, on the, let's, <laughs> let's go to go bed. bed. <laughs> sold out. So, Uber. we'll just take an Uber and put all this in it. We're out front of Benny Burge's house. He does TED Talks. TED Talks. Yeah, apparently Kat's doing a... Mountain biking? Mountain biking. Oh, there's the man <laughs> himself. Yes. Benny Burge. Yeah. Look at you, Fuzzy. Yeah. Look at yeah. you, Fuzzy. Yeah. yeah. Here we're going out in the woods, you know? We're the doing the woods. Yeah. 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 How's your biking skills? You, you, look, you look like a cyclist. Well, I, I'll, I'll, I was upstairs and I was like in this. And Heather's like, oh, oh buttery oh. bros are outside. I was like, I'm going to put some pants on. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Kat? What's, What's up, up, guys? How you doing? Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Good Great. to see you. you. Good to see you. Great. We're doing uh, mountain biking. And then we're going to, we'll come back here, have a late breakfast, and then we'll go to the gym. Okay. Yeah. Breakfast number two. Yeah. Second breakfast. breakfast. Second breakfast is the best meal of the day. Yeah. yeah. Benny Burr said, I got some bikes for you guys. We said, oh cool, yeah, we'd love to ride. Yes, here they are. Oh, oh, oh and I couldn't be more excited. Do you want the blue or the pink? Oh, I definitely want the pink, though. Okay. Get out. Because this ain't going nowhere. Salt bike, all it takes is your soul. I'm just impressed you guys can actually bike on them. This is the best way to start your day ever. Oh, this is so functional. It's got an awesome basket. Try to keep up, Cap. Uh, okay, they're biking, and we've got these bikes. Uh, they don't really work on those trails, so. We're gonna go down to the bridge here and then just film some like quick transition shots of them biking and make it look as cool as we can with the time we have. Magic. It's like one of my favorite things to do. There's like such like a like a rush of like when you're like, hey, I wish you could like hear my voice when I'm out. Like the amount of time I'm like, oh shit. Oh god, oh. oh. I mean, we should have just tried it. Really fit on a bike. If she can get technical on a bike, she'll be good. What you gotta do is like imagine every foot of the trail, you're either marking like tire go fast on this foot or slow on this foot. Yeah. And if it's a fast foot, because there's technical stuff there, doesn't mean you go slow here. Yeah. You get to that as fast as you can. You look at 60 to 90 minute mountain bike, and that was pretty technical, so. We're not able to use um, too much fitness, so we're just gonna get on the C2 bike and for like 25 minutes or so, do a little bit of animals, get some bike fitness in, and then <laughs> breakfast number two. So 07 and 08, the tests were really pared down. Just a three, four events, very short, not a big deal. The barbecue feel. Yeah. Nine was like, whoa. And that's where you had the big trail run into the deadlift. You had the sandbag lift up. 
people were smashed by his That next year of 11 was, I think, the big, the test got established. You know it's gonna be 13-ish events over the course of four or five days. Now we start going to the ocean. Now it was like this huge, massive growth in this really exciting time. And I put that from StubHub Center um, second year. So from 11 to 16 was, you know, I thought phenomenal. And I think when we got to Madison, it just got tame. You know, it was like, we had bikes, okay, like, that was new. But what, from the athlete's perspective, are they being tested with mentally, like, the fortitude and the magnitude of the test? Like, I don't know if I can do this. That 7K trail run, when they were doing that, people were saying, I don't know if I can do this. What I feel like now is we're going back and experiencing, truly, no one knows again what the program is gonna look like, which is so cool to me. Now it's again, like, are we going to the mountains? Are we going to the beach? Are we gonna have to, what do we have to do? Like, yeah. does anyone have any clue what we're doing now? And the answer is no. It's awesome. So now what? Now what? <laughs> you know, now you second breakfast and Second breakfast. Day? I've been really into bagels lately. Really? Yeah. Okay. What's, are you talking about like the everything bagel or are you talking, I'm talking about, about apple cinnamon? I'm talking about cinnamon raisin bagels. Cinnamon raisin, yeah. there we yeah. go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I said apple cinnamon. But... With like butter and eggs and then Coffee. I really don't like coffee. I think I just like. What? I, I don't she think so. Creamer. Yeah. <laughs> she likes no, creamer. Actually, yeah, it's, creamer. Like, it's like oat milk and hazelnut creamer, and then there's like one shot of espresso like somewhere in the mix. Okay. <laughs> As an excuse to drink the rest of it. Love it. <laughs> what a great reveal. Oh. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, the bikes are a metaphor for uh, fitness level. Yeah, yeah. that's you know right. I mean? Yeah. Hey, hello, people. We? We're back, and we're gonna go to the number one pancake spot. I'm big smart. This is what it looks like underneath. All right, tell me the story. Tell me the story. Okay, so we've had this pancake before. I don't. Uh, they had like an actual special pancake, and I just got a pancake and put Reese's peanut butter cups on it because I thought it was a peanut butter pancake. But I'm about to eat a pancake and I'm really excited about it. And I'm talking really fast and I just, I'm so hungry. Get into my belly. Such bad yeah, form. dip it. Yeah, dip it. Man, I'm not kidding. Like, that's a really good pancake. Yeah? These guys know how to do it, man. JM, you my sheep. This could be a quarter the size and I'd be happy. Come back and eat it again. Ride with me if you ride with me. You can slide with me if you feel like that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? There's Benny Burge and Caddy D. Caddy D. You look so good in white, you know, just Thank regal. You. And my icy blue. Yeah, icy blue. Is uh, that your color? Yeah. yeah okay. Thanks, sorry, it was like, it's kind of like Guitar Hero, but like you have like a microphone. You're trying to like collect points. Oh, so, it's like yeah. karaoke. Just can feel it for you. Oh, you can let it in. No one else. On your lips. Oh, you all right? You gotta have a little Need it. Okay. What's your stream? Where you at? 8.5. Marzen. Look what we end with. Dude, I'm all about core. I'm still so sore from that workout we did. <laughs> well, then half. You're a taco shell. You're sore from the workout we did four episodes ago, bro. Catch up. Three sets of three back squat. We're just gonna do what, what Cat does until we can't do what Cat does. <laughs> If ever there was a year for the games to be bumped back two months, this was the year for Cat. We had some challenges, to say the least, in the fall that took a long time to work through. Nice speed, dude. That's it. A little hitchy. She's lifting as has much weight as she has all year. Her run times are as fast as she's been this year. The performance that she gave in phase one, she never really has done well in online competitions. To come out of that in the top five and be, in, be where we are is, I mean, we're playing with house money at this time, so let's go. <laughs> All right, dude, I know right, you're Jared, tired. I know you need a little, yeah, little pick-me-up, a little juice deal. up, huh? Right okay. here. Oh, Mego Man Dick, huh? Sub Strawberry Sublime. <laughs> In your face, Cheers. bro. Workouts, five rounds per time. Okay. Kind of five intervals. It goes 600 meter hill run, 
into six muscle ups, rest them in it, five times. God. Ah, I'll be honest, I don't know if I can do muscle ups. My abs are really sore. I'm ready to go. Yeah? Yeah. You're gonna try and chase down the sled dog? Chase is a big word. <laughs> You're gonna try and follow I'm the sled follow dog. I'm gonna follow behind, she's gonna pull me along. Okay. Maybe I'll take out the rest. I feel like it's a uh, dog sled, but you're the sled. I'm the sled, <laughs> yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Thanks, Kat. What's up? Okay, so this is Kat's training partner. Yeah. She's telling me how she motivates Kat and what Ben has her do. So what, what were you just telling me? So every so often, he'll just come up to me and be like, cut the corner, or do 12, really? or do like, change up the reps, yeah. Cut corners. Cut Half reps. Half reps, shave some off shave, the top. Shave, Okay. I'm here for competitive push. That means I don't have to always do all the work, which is nice. <laughs> it's like cheating, but intentional cheating. I wonder if you'll let me cheat. You are, what do you mean? If you cheat all the time, uh, there's been a lot of movements I haven't done during this uh, COVID shit. I've been doing a lot of workouts at home. And for example of that, I haven't done GHDs in like six months and did them with Noah the other day. My abs are so destroyed that I can't do muscle ups. Like just the thought of trying to stretch out my abs. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna film Cat beat Heba's ass like a Cherokee drum. It's been a really good year, especially in this kind of like year of solitude. There was a lot of like being alone this year. Tori started training with me every day. She's literally, she dropped all of her ego. She'll compete with me every single day. Here we go, Heaves! Two, we were really close. Number three, she smashed me. And now this one, she'll catch you by the hill. Oh. I'm still working on building confidence in my muscle ups and that was one of those that like all right I don't want to be scared like I am a good runner and I want to be able to use that so normally when I do muscle up workouts the whole workout starts revolving around that of like okay I can't run fast because then I'm, I'm gonna take I'm either gonna be tired I'm gonna bring it up too much and I'm, I'm literally just thinking about that and all I wanted to do was I wanted to focus on the run I wanted to run fast and I started thinking about the muscle ups when I got here I'm like one big breath and let's see what's there. I got this from Cole Sager this year. He used on one of our like athlete phone calls, he talked about being curious. What happens? Wow, good for you. I'm so proud. Victory! I mean, Mars! One game win streak. Alright, first of all, how's it feel to just constantly have cat breathing down your neck? I mean, that's gotta be scary, right? Not really. Okay. I love competing with her. Really? Yeah. So much like, like Tori gets a head start, I used to jump in the workouts and I would give Catherine a head start. Yeah. But the way I would just run her down yeah. was a little demoralizing. <laughs> So we had to shift gears yeah. a little bit. Gotcha. Okay. We had to we had to like call in the lefty and bring in. Okay, bring in yeah, I got it. I know. Yeah. So on this trip, we've got a lot of people. We've gone to a lot of athletes. This is number five, six, something. Like that. Yeah, we're trying to keep healthy and getting a lot of sleep, and a big factor with that has been beam. Oh, you recording? Yeah, it's rolling. Oh shit. Oh. Usually I'm not getting a lot of sleep because I'm all hyped up. So what are we doing every night? So look at this. See, the first package I got of this, it had a little ass scooper and I'd get all the powder on my hand. But now they've since given me a bigger, longer stick. <laughs> there we go. All right, cheers. Oh, cheers. Oh, cheers. I hope you guys dream. I hope you have real vivid ones. Mm. Stegosauruses and shit. Yeah, dinosaurs I had, coming my I way. I literally had a dream with David Hasselhoff from Baywatch. Did he save you? I literally had to, he, I had to like help him out. You helped save Dave Hassel. You hassled his heart. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. I mean, you've been taking the pills, I've been taking the powder, you know? Yeah. I like to take it rectally. That's not a good way to do it. This entire week, I have had in the green. I landed in Nashville, I was 69%. After a day of Get training with Brooke Wells, I slept eight hours and 43 minutes. I'm 95% recovered. Then we get into Friday, I got seven hours of sleep, I'm 70% recovered, and then coming into the day, 85% recovered. Never have I traveled this much and had this high recovery. Shout out to the Beam Dream. Ah, uh, baby.
Um, no, but I do it most nights. I'll do like a tea, put some creamer in, and beam dream, and it's like, it's like candy. And now we have a 14 minute imam where um, the first minute's like a pretty hard bike. Um, pretty hard, what does that mean? That means like I can't cruise it, you know? I think I got it. Not um, that you ever would. I mean, if it's 15 cows a minute, you can kind of like just settle into a pace and you'll finish. This is like 18. I think you gotta like, you gotta go a little. Okay. Um, to finish within the minute. Not that I ever cruise, you're damn right. <laughs> um, and then the other minute goes seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Kip and handstand push ups. And each round the reps go down and the deficit goes up. Oh. And that'll be our final like hard piece of the day. Okay. Yeah. And then what? What do you do after that? I have my flip flops on my car just in case. <laughs> Take a guess. Petty? Yes. Many petty. No, I had my mani. I just don't have patience for both at the same time, so I haven't had a petty. But I went and got a manicure the other day. Oh, okay. So maybe I'll get a pedicure. I happen to have a, a, <laughs> a fast pass. Yeah. So it like gets me right out the front of the line. <laughs> many petties. So the scale, I'm just gonna do it on the ground. Simple as that. You gotta want it. Come back up! My ass! Come on, come on, come down! Come down! Come back up! I didn't realize you use your abs for almost everything. Core to extremity. Can we just do extremity? <laughs> okay. Coming at you with a go wad flow. Day one. You're a little bit behind. What were your thoughts going into day two, and, and how did you make that amazing comeback? Like I never ever count myself out. I like I never thought that like I couldn't make it. I went into like knowing I have a shot with everybody else, and I believe that I could be top five. I know everyone was talking about a slow start for me on day one. It wasn't a slow start. It was just my start, you know. Yeah. Like I had a herniated disc in December. So like I wasn't able to lift all year. So if I put up that 235 squat, it wasn't a slow start. It's just my squat right now. And that's what I had. And oh no, like I'm not over here celebrating that I got like um, a max hold handstand because I know I can do well on that. So I'm not gonna dwell on the front squat. So every time I went on the floor, I just did the best that I absolutely could. Okay, here's another thing that I'm really tapping into this year. I love to compete. I love, I've been that way, I was born competitive. I would compete with my brother with anything. I'd ask my dad to like test me on things. Like, I'd always find a way to compete. And that's something that I'm just like tapping into right now. It's like, if I know that you are giving your best and you are giving me like, I will rise to that occasion and I will raise you one. Cause I'm just like, I'm thankful. Like how cool is it? Like that Tia is this good and that Brooke is that fit. Like, like they're raising the bar for me to rise up to and I want to raise it for them. And I want to meet that standard. Going into day two, that's all I wanted to do. I was gonna compete. And even though I was alone on the track, I knew that there was a girl gonna be one second in front of me, and there was a girl gonna be one second behind me. And, and I literally, like, I like imagining someone one second in front of me and one second ahead, and I competed against them. Question, do you dairy? Like, do I eat dairy? Yeah. Or do, do you like dairy? Do you dairy? Do you dairy? Yeah, do you dairy? Um, not a lot, to be completely honest. Okay, but that's more preference. She, you know, picks and chooses Ta the dairy. Taco or burrito? What? Taco or burrito? I'm still so stuck on dairy because I'm like, I love cheese. <laughs> she dairies. <laughs> so, wait, you were just saying you geek, you geek out in the womb? Yeah, that, everyone laughs at me, but like, as soon as we finish the workout, like, three minutes ago, I'm already like, okay. So like on the first ones, I'm recovering. And on the last ones, I'm like, not recovering. I was still like happy about my, like, my bike. It was like super strong the whole way, even though like here you can see it wasn't really recovering. And then I just get excited to see my overall. What is your overall right now? 17? <laughs> Point one. 17.1? <laughs> Where are you guys at? Okay, day train, training with Catherine Davis' daughter. We only did like one out of the four workouts she did in the back squat. I mean, I don't count those bikes. Yeah, so I got a 15.0 day strength because I did that longer thing. 15.0? I'm a 9.1. I'm even double digits on yeah, bitch ass. Yeah, dude. Okay, so let's jump over to the butter game. Talk about them. How they doing? Hey, okay. baby. Give me a number. 217. Oh, we talking about Nick Lyle. What's up, Nick Lyle? It looks like he's out of Boston or London. No way, local. Oh, yeah, Nick Lyle. He's got a... What's his last name? Lyle. 
Nikolai Lyle? Yeah, his average Nick recovery Lyle. has been 80%. His resting heart rate 60. His HRV is 50. You got to bump that HRV up. I don't know how you get it up there. Do a little more spinach. Uh, he's had 46 activities in the last. Nine, he's had an 83 day streak. Damn. He's done lots of cycling, lots of functional fitness, and some walking. All right, maybe, we, give those maybe we give him something, huh? Yeah, you want a free band or maybe a butter? Hit us up. Hit me up in the Slide DMs. Slide into the DMs. Slide in, and we'll right. send you a gift. Thank you for being a part of the Butter Gang. If you want to join the Butter Gang, use code PANCAKES, get yourself 15% off, and come into, the G come into the team! All right, people, that's the end of the show today. Bye. We want to thank you, Kat, for letting us come and hang out, which is, you know, good luck. Yes. I hope you go crush those other girls, but I love the other girls, too. Uh, <laughs> where are we off to next, dude? The we are headed to PDX, also known as Portland. PDX? Yeah, that's right. the airport. That's what, the do you know, what do you know about a mullet? I know I love a good mullet, except right. for that one guy. <laughs> yeah. Justin Vidaris. Justin Vidaris. We'll see you job. soon. All right. Bye, baby. We'll see you in the next show. We're off to uh, the other coast. We'll, we're out of here.